All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So we just got the full details and animations for the 8th anniversary part 2 LRs, which are this AGL LR base Goku. I know there's the Tien, Yamcha, and uh, Krillin in the art as well, but uh, the name of the card is just Goku, and the other guys are part of his animations, which you'll see in just a second. And the other LR is the Int LR Kid Gohan, along with the uh, Krillin, Tian, Yamcha, and Goku as well in his art and animations. So uh, yeah, in this video, we are going to be going over everything you guys need to know about these upcoming Carnival Summon LRs for Part 2. And I believe the banners will be dropping within the next couple of days. I can't give you an exact time, but I would assume within two to three days from now. So yeah, with that said, let's start with the animations first. And I think I want to actually watch the Goku's animation before the uh, Kid Gohan, because I heard that the Gohan's animations are better. I haven't seen any of them, but I've heard, yeah, the Goku has superior animations. So let me just quickly pause my music here. Okay. And... Let's get it, guys. Enjoy. So I haven't even seen the Kid Gohan's animations yet, but um, yeah, I fully believe that Goku's animations are better, mainly because I can't possibly see Gohan's animations being better than these ones, you know, because like this Goku has some really good animations, man, and like they know exactly how to hit us in the nostalgia feels, you know, like I didn't actually cry, but I got I got a little emotional, man, during these animations, I'm not gonna lie, especially the intro. The intro is fantastic. So yeah, there's the counter as well. He's got the beam clash counter. Yeah, so dope. That's so dope. Okay, so he goes Kyle again and then goes Super Saiyan and and then got the spirit bomb at the end. I mean It's just perfect, man. Yo, these animations are are perfect for what this Goku was supposed to be, which is, you know, a nostalgia trip, right, for us long-term Dragon Ball fans, so, um, I love it, I love it, Goku's animations, A++++, um, now let's move on to Gohan, but I think our expectations might, might, might be a little bit too high now, our standard might be a little bit too high now, so let's see if Gohan can, uh, live up to these new standards okay so here we go oh i already like what i see there <sighs> okay go high animations enjoy guys Let's <laughs> go. 
Wow. Okay, so definitely not as visually appealing for the most part as the Goku animations. I think uh, that's pretty clear. I mean, if you disagree, that's fine, but that's how I feel right now. But still very, very good. Still very, very good. And I love the intro once again, man. Yo, this intro, um, I mean, it's going to be hard for me to skip. It's gonna be hard for me to skip at least for a while just because like it just brings back all the feels man it really does so um yeah no solid solid animations for the gohan as well definitely goku's got better animations but uh you know gohan's no slouch either gohan's no slouch so now let's jump right into the details because i tend to spend too much time just gushing over animations in these videos and people get annoyed so let's move on of course the animations or sorry the uh, translations are provided by the homie Goresh so a big shout out and thank you to the homie Goresh for doing all of this work for us we always appreciate it and starting with the uh, Goku starting with the Goku so his leader skill is turtle school category key plus three HP attack and defense plus 200 percent just like the um, you know, Metal Cooler or the um, Bird Coup, which were the last two Carnival Summon units, right? So it seems like 200% is the standard right now for Carnival Summon units. And then uh, the Super Attacks 12 Key Super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 Key Super raises defense. This can be stacked, raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. So the 18 Key stacks defense. The 12 key does not. And passive is performs entrance animation upon first appearance and gain key plus 4 and attack and defense plus 59% and guard activated against all attacks for 6 turns from first appearance. Very good. I do like the guard. I feel like 6 turns might be a little short. I don't know. It's, it, it's okay. 6 turns is like a decent amount, but maybe a few more turns would have been better or maybe just guard period forever would be great as well but maybe i'm asking for too much who knows okay so for six turns he gets the key 59 percent attack and defense and uh, guaranteed guard and then uh after that he has key plus four attack and defense plus 159 percent survives ko damage once per turn this is interesting this is interesting. Some people thought that this was like a revival skill. It's not quite a revival skill, but what it means is basically if he were to take an attack um, that would have killed him, uh, you're probably going to survive with 1 HP. But then if he's going to take a, another attack after that, like a follow-up attack, then you still die. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So like, let's say, yeah, there's like three attacks coming at you. And the first attack is like a normal, the second attack is a super, and it hits you for, I don't know, let's just say 500k. And you should have died, right? But instead, you're left with 1 HP. But then there's a third attack that comes after, and that one would still kill you, because you only survive the KO damage once per turn, right? So that's how I understand it, so it's not quite a revival skill, it's not quite as good as a revival skill, but still, still very useful. 
nonetheless, still very useful. Unless I'm misunderstanding this, which I don't think I am, but uh, yeah, I think the way I explained it is how it's gonna work. Anyways, survives KO damage once per turn, recovers HP by 59% once only, if ending an attacking turn at 40% HP or below. So uh, essentially, yeah, one time, one time if you have 40% or less HP at the end of the turn, then, rec then he recovers 59% HP. So that's a really significant heal right there. And then gains key plus one, max of five, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 9%, max of 59% for every attack received. So after, what is it? Uh, five attacks, right? No. After, my math is so bad right now. After, like, seven attacks, is it? Yeah, after seven attacks, you get max uh, stacks here. So 59% crit chance, which is very, very good. So of course, when you're building this unit uh, for hidden potential, you do want to give him as many additional as possible because 59% crit chance is already very high. You don't really necessarily need more crit chance, right? So additional would be the way to go for this unit. Um, and then gains an additional attack plus 59% for the rest of the battle, starting from the turn where the fifth attack has been received in battle. Uh, gains attack plus 120% for the rest of battle, starting from the turn where the ninth attack has been received in battle. And then a high chance to counter key based super attacks aimed at this character and counter with tremendous power. So. It seems like he does get most of his boosts from taking hits, which is um, okay, considering he does get guard, right? And he also stacks defense on his 18 key. And he's getting so much key that like you are gonna be getting his 18 key all the time. So um, over the course of the six turns, while he still has his guard up, he will build quite a bit of uh, defense, I guess, and then um, it should feel okay about taking those hits from there. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be like Tremendously tanky at least not for a while, but he should be like tanky enough to take hits at least early on in most events I would assume so um, As a whole yeah, he's gonna put up some big numbers. I think uh, he's got a lot of attack boosts uh, He's got that, you know 59% chance to crit so I do see him hitting quite hard, or maybe really hard, and uh, defensively, um, you know, he stacks, right? So in longer events, he will be very tanky. Uh, in shorter events, maybe not as much, but you do still have that guard you can rely on, so that's nice. Um, yeah, no, overall, looking like a really good unit. Looking like a really good unit. I don't think he's quite as good as the Part 1 LRs, but that shouldn't come as like a huge surprise, because generally speaking, the part, part 1 LRs are the best LRs um, of anniversaries, right? So, yeah, that's not a huge shock right there, but um, Goku's looking very good nonetheless. So that is the passive for the Goku. Now let's look at his other details. My bad. Uh, active skill is the Spirit Bomb. Condition can be used when HP is 59% or below, or once five or more turns have elapsed, from the start of battle, then there is another warrior raised on Earth category ally attacking in the same turn. Um, not bad, not bad. Okay, so you have to be below 59% HP or once five or more turns. Okay, so I thought it was both. I thought it was like 59% HP and also five turns. No, so it's either or, that's good. Um, Oh, and there is another warrior raised on Earth category ally. Okay, so that's like two conditions for that one. Or it can just be below 59% HP. So yeah, that's not, not not too terrible as far as conditions go. And the effect is massively raises the attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and all attacks become critical hits during the turn of activation. Cool. We got some links here saying warrior race on the family, experienced fighters, in fighters, Z fighters, <laughs> Z fighters, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are turtle school, pure saints, Koku's family, bond of friendship, bond of uh, parent and child, warrior raised on earth, power of hope, full power, Kamehameha, and final trump card. Okay, that's the Goku. Now we have this Gohan, bond of master and disciple, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 200%. And he has three different super attacks. He has the regular super and then two different 
uh, unit super attacks. So uh, his regular uh, 12 key super raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage. His regular 18 key super raises attack and defense and causes mega colossal damage. So it looks like this one actually stacks both attack and defense on the 18 key. Very interesting. And then we have the first unit super attack, Miraculous Full Throttle Ultra Z Power. Greatly raises attack and raises defense and causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. And this can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Goku, uh, Youth, Ginyu, Tuner, uh, Tuner excluded, Krillin, Yamcha, or Tien attacking in the same turn. And key is 18 or more. Cool. And then the other one is together with uh, Mr. Piccolo, greatly raises attack and raises defense and causes mega cost of damage to all enemies. So same effect it looks like uh, between the two unit super attacks. And this of course can be activated when there is uh, a Piccolo attacking in the same turn and key is 18 or more. So those are the three different uh, 18 key super attacks for the Gohan. Now moving on to the passive. Uh, entrance animation activates upon first appearance and gains key plus 4 and attack and defense plus 58% and performs an additional attack that has a great chance to become a super attack for 6 turns from first appearance. Key plus 4, attack and defense plus 158% at the start of turn, reduces damage received from enemies who have been hit by this character's ultra super attack or unit super attacks by 30% for the turn. That's kind of cool. Okay, so um, it's attack all too, right? So attack all and uh, every enemy that's hit by this attack all super attack will do 30% less damage to you. Or rather you get 30% damage reduction against those enemies for that turn. Very cool, very cool. Um, key plus 1 up to 5 and defense plus 8% up to 58% per attack received. Okay, gains an additional attack plus 58% for the rest of the battle, starting from the turn where the 5th attack has been received. Performs an additional attack, uh, additional super attack for the rest of battle, starting from the... Oh, guaranteed super for the rest of the battle, starting from the turn where the 8th attack has been received. Wow. Okay, so after 8 attacks, you get a guaranteed additional super. That's solid. Okay. And then uh, active skill happening of the full moon able to be used when hp is 58 percent or less or after five or more turns have elapsed from start of battle and there is another bond of uh, master and disciple category ally attacking the same turn once only uh, massively raises attack temporarily causes ultimate damage and attacks effective against all types during the turn of activation and links are the innocents same warrior race all in the family z fighters gives it respect Fierce Battle and Legendary Power, and categories are Bond of Friendship, sorry, Bond of Master and Disciple, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Saiyan Saga, Bond of Parent and Child, Warrior Raised on Earth, and Giant Ape Power. Okay, so that is the Kid Gohan. Um, he looks quite good as well. I think the Goku might be a little bit more impressive to me. Maybe because of the guard. Um... I'm undecided actually. I'm not 100% sure which one I like better. I mean, I do like the attack all aspect of the Gohan. He's going to be good for Super Battle Road and uh, World Tournament, obviously. But um, yeah, Goku, I think, is going to be better for like most normal events um, that are not like attack all events with like a lot of enemies, right? So. I think I'm edging or like siding with Goku a little bit more at the moment. Maybe I'll change my mind later on. But uh, for now, I'm going to say Goku is a little bit better than Gohan. But they are both very good. That's for sure. They're both very good. But once again, not as good as the Part 1 LRs, which should not come as a surprise, right? Um... But yeah, those are the details, guys. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the Goku and the Gohan. What do you think about their animations? You know, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, man. I'm pretty happy with how these units turned out, you know? Um, I wasn't really sure, like, how the source material would look and, like, how they would really structure these animations. But I think uh, 
they did a very good job, especially with the Goku, but the Gohan is just fine as well. Um, definitely more hyped for the Goku, definitely want the Goku more, but I gotta get both. I gotta get both, so look forward to, to, to some summons uh, on the channel when the banners drop, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.